one of the biggest games of last year, one of the most successful games, you know, it came to Game Pass, it's on PlayStation, it's on Switch, Disney Dreamlight Valley, you know, it's been, if you're a Disney fan, this is your wildest dreams, you get to play as, you know, your own character, your own avatar, your own person, you're thrown into this world with characters like Goofy and Merlid, there's now Stitch, and, um, you know, Tiana, not Tiana, uh, Elsa, and all these other characters from Frozen, Toy Story, whoever it may be. And there is more to come in 2023. Scar has just dropped, the Toy Story set just dropped, and partial of the roadmap has been released of what to expect from this year. And this is how you can tell it's popular. Go to the Twitter feed, 693,000 views. Now, this is a game that's in early development, by the way. <clears throat> um, The next update will be in February. We're currently dealing with the current star path of the Christmas one. There's a few Christmas outfits on there and different, you know, like Christmas trees and stuff like that. As I said, Stitch also was released uh, recently. So I'm currently still working my way through the missions. But in February, we're going to be getting Encanto. You know, not the greatest film ever, but I think some of the characters were likable. And we're going to be getting the main girl. And actually, weird enough, going off this picture, you can actually see a little hand that looks like Olaf. So they might be releasing Olaf as well. It says, meet an ex exceptionally unexpected, exceptional new villager and a special snowman. I have only just read that. So it looks like we're going to be getting Encanto and Olaf. In February, discover the secrets of the Frosted Heights biome. I'm intrigued to see what that means. Um, and obviously, because I think the pillar, um, you know, with the purple stuff coming up, is still yet to be solved. So it looks like we're going to be getting that solved. And we can, you know, maybe it will be a lot nicer, brighter when we visit there in the future. And also the Star Path will be Disney's 100th anniversary. Something to get your hands on whilst it's released. Obviously, like, that's a bigger thing in comparison to the Christmas one or the Halloween one. This is stuff that you could wear and celebrate being a huge Disney fan. Going into April, so there will be a two-month gap, or a month gap, if you will. So February, no March, then April. We're going to be getting um, Simba. There'll be a new realm opening. New characters arrive to the valley and more surprises. And key characters arrive if you've seen any of the trailers you will know Tim timon and pumba we're also in the trailer with simba and we always can tell them three are going to come through in the lion king uh realm that's not confirmed but that's what i'm speculating and obviously more surprises with a disney parks star path going in to early summer it looks like there's a picture of the got the purple uh, forgetting character. We're going to get more of that in the Forgotten Lands. Um, the pumpkin house is here, and it says a princess races into the valley, which I'm going to speculate I think will be Belle or Tangled in Rapunzel. I think they're the most likely to be, because Belle was on the front cover, and Rapunzel's tower was on the cover. So I'm going to be guessing they're the two. And more to come in 2023, multi it says multiplayer, so maybe you'll be able to visit each other's worlds, and Belle actually does feature in the back of this. I'm guessing Belle is definitely coming in the first half of 2023. Characters, realms, clothing, motives, decorations, and furniture. So the first one is coming in february so do stick around for that then april then early summer and do remember this is an early development so if you don't even pick up the game until maybe next year for example you will have over 30 40 characters to experience play with level up and give homes to i'm excited for this and as more information comes out i will talk about it give you my thoughts but I think the fact that Encanto is coming, I think the fact that Olaf, the last piece of the Frozen family, will be here with Kristoff, Elsa, and Anna. Um, it can finally give them a place to live near each other or together. And I think just having all these characters join it is going to give such a great environment. Character, my top five I'd love to see in the second half of the year is the Winnie the Pooh characters, Ralph, because we know he's in the trailer, Beast, that we know he's in the trailer as well. Um, I think someone may be along the lines of... Because um, I think Encanto is a huge 
Um, throw in there. Maybe Baymax. Baymax could be cool. I, I'd love to see some more bigger characters. Sully and Mike, you know. I think uh, they were definitely advertised and shown at some point. So they're my ones I want to see in the second half. But the fact is they, they're constantly keeping us updated. They're constantly updating things. The fact that they're bringing all these characters to this world is incredible. I'm excited to eventually get to the castle not to the castle, to this massive mountain on the left. And for f I'm intrigued to see how long it's going to take to get rid of every bit of Night Thorns. It's going to be very intriguing. Will it be this year? Will it be next year? Who gives a shit, as long as we get more content? So let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on who you would like to see join Disney Dreamlight Valley in 2023. Maybe the summer, maybe after the summer. Who do you, who are you excited for? Encanto, um, the main character. Um, Olaf, the snowman. Simba, Timon, Pumbaa, if they are 100% coming. And of course, are you excited to finally reveal... Who, is, who lives in that pumpkin house, and who the princess will be. Obviously, I would love to see Snow White come into the game at one point, but I still think it'll be Belle or um, Rapunzel at first. But of course, no star path confirmed for early summer because obviously the month isn't confirmed, and something may happen between now and then. Of course, I would love to see some Pixar characters add to this thing like Toy Story, so never say never about maybe... Maybe Lightning McQueen might rock up. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see anyway. Stick around for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content coming your way. And the walkthrough is in development. Don't you worry. I've recorded everything since the day I launched it. To the point of all the DLCs and everything in between. So stick around for that. And until next time, goodbye.